witchcraft and magic in Staffordshire, but only as the theme for the week's work at Ingestry Hall. Here in remote farmland east of Stafford and close to the River Trent lies the Jacobean mansion which is now given over to a democratic pursuit of the arts. Each year more than 2,000 young people come to stay. Some of them keep coming back year after year. There are several sorts of courses for these teenagers from schools in West Bromwich, Wensbury and Tipton down in the black industrial south of Staffordshire. Usually, like these, they come on Monday morning and go home again on Friday evening, paying a few shillings a day towards their keep. There might be 50 or 60 boys and girls, perhaps from the same school, perhaps from several. Normally, they're self-selecting. They want to come. Some of them may be doing art at school for GCE. Some may already have skills and talents well developed. Often, they're absolute beginners. Anyway, at Ingestry, they can all choose art or music or drama. For a week, they're all specialists. Down in the Great Hall, the drama group, beginners all, have launched into rehearsals of Arthur Miller's play of witchcraft and political treachery, The Crucible. She spoke nothing but lechery, and this man has lied. I believe him. From the beginning, this girl has got me for... <laughs> You will not be gone, be gone, I say! What is it, Joe? What's there? You You're the one and ask for! Where? Oh. Why, why do you come, yellow bird? Where's a bird? I see no bird. You cannot want to tarry and be the deadly sin, Mary. Mommy! Oh. Yes, right now. Um, that's not too bad at all. But I want to make this point of Mary and Abby. Mary, jump to your feet when you're implicated, do you see? There are three professional tutors supporting the principal of the centre, Kevin Callan. I think probably the most exciting feature in a child's experience when they first come to industry is the environmental nature of the place. The whole atmosphere of industry is so different from that which they normally experience that um, they are somewhat overawed to start off with. And I think this begins the whole enrichment of their experience whilst they're with us. Possibly the, um, the main thing, I think, is the size of everything, the largeness of the rooms and the beauty of the actual grounds which surround the house. This does definitely have a very uh, strong effect upon them so much so that they are, for a little while, very bewildered. I would think probably for about 24 hours, it takes a little time for them to adjust to the new surroundings. But once they have done so, I think it's from there on they begin to draw the enrichment from it. If you were born and brought up in West Bromwich, you're more likely to be acquainted with this sort of landscape uh, rather than Capability Brown. The black country is rich in industrial skills and is busy heaving itself from the 19th into the 20th century. No one would claim it was beautiful. Doves and peacocks, landscape parkland, walks in the gardens, all part of the industry experience. And in the early evening, a lecture from the principal, usually on the art, architecture or history of the hall and its great families, Chetwins and Talbots, Earls of Shrewsbury. During the reign of Henry VI, John Talbot fought against Joan of Arc in France, successfully for a period, then was captured and brought to England, where he was brought to, uh, held in France for four years. Then they captured the French knight, who had captured him, and they swapped. John Talbot came home and was made first Earl of Shrewsbury and Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. Now, here is a picture, a 19th century picture of John Talbot. It isn't a very wonderful piece of art for the very simple reason you get all these extraordinary pieces of writing underneath it with references, both uh, genuine ones as far as his honours were concerned and those that were imagined and those which have appeared in the Shakespearean play. The portrait itself is a 19th century portrait therefore and not contemporary of his own time. 
The grand style of the aristocrat may be gone, but new life crowds in. Regret for things past can be forgotten in optimism for the young. Friday afternoon, the productions of the different groups, all working to the witchcraft theme, are nearing completion. For the first time in their lives, they've given a whole week to one painting, one model, one art. That in itself can be an illuminating experience to a schoolboy who's usually tied to a curriculum. Then all the works brought together in the hall for the grand presentation. Their own pictures, play, music. Probably the more advanced uh, groups which have grown from this type of experience of an individual contribution can be seen within the um, organization of the West Bromwich Youth Orchestra, which is a very fine organization indeed, a very capable group of young musicians who have performed not only regularly here in terms of rehearsal, but also in public concerts, not only in this country, but also in Germany, where they receive considerable praise. A couple of hours later, their week is over, back to West Bromwich. But before they can get out, a new weekend group arrives, among them the Ingestry Theatre Group and some new folk singers, all enthusiasts for some aspect of the arts. Musicians and actors who visit for weekends have left school, some of them several years ago. But the Industry Arts Centre and the Borough of West Bromwich, which provides it, has made them a gift beyond price. Dearly beloved officers and gentlemen of the Desert Shock Troops, we are gathered here this evening to pay our respects to a great lady. There are many of us here tonight who would not be alive now but for her tender mercies, although in her later years she was limbless from the waist down. She struggled valiantly to combat ignorance and disease, and although she will be remembered by the world 
as the inventor of penicillin and radium, we of this proud regiment will remember her as our friend, the Lady of the Lamp. I call upon you all to join with me in observing two minutes silence. Down. 